Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. Hum hai aapke host aapke dost Roy. Aayye dosto, aaj hum baat kar rahe hain series 2 ki polynomials. Now, ye hai hamari sawal jawab presentation number 11. And aaj ki topic hai application of middle term factorization. Now, dosto, so middle term factorization kya hai? Kis type ke questions aapko aa sakte hain? And how do we solve it? This is the topic for today's discussion. So, chaliye dosto, shuruaat karte hain. Now, um, humne kuch uh, polynomials um, likhe hui hain pehle se to uh, save some time. Now, as far as the type of questions are concerned, dosto, um, you will be simply asked to factorize a polynomial px. So, this is the most uh, standard type of questions that you will get actually. Ki aapko simply ek polynomial di jayegi and aap se kaha jayega factorize a polynomial. So, maan lije this is our first example. So, aap se kaha jayega factorize polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. Yeah, fir, um, like in our second example, x squared plus 8x plus 15. So, now, dosto, agar aapko directly poocha jai, factorize a polynomial. So, now, it is totally up to you. Um, agar aap, uh, agar aap chahate hain, so you can use uh, the factor theorem and go ahead and, and factorize the polynomial using the factor theorem. Or, you can apply the middle term factorization and then factorize the polynomial. So, ye totally aapke upar uh, depend karti hai, dosto. Now, because we are talking about middle term factorization, in this particular presentation, mein, jitne sare examples hai, we will use middle term factorization to factorize the polynomials. Now, we have seen in our previous episode, mein, middle term factorization ka hai, dosto. what we do is, if you typically a polynomial in form, mein di jati hai, right? ax squared plus bx plus c, if you have given a polynomial, di jati hai, so what we do is, we multiply a, and c right so man lije so we get ac fir humne dekha now what we want to do is we want to take two such factors of ac right so ac jab hum multiply karte hain then what we want to do we want to um, take two such factors of ac man lije this is one factor and this is a second factor hame malum nahi hai what these factors are so हम ऐसे दो फैक्टर्स लेते हैं फॉर AC जिसे when you add it you get the middle term B right now दोस्तों this basic uh, this basic approach this basic uh, way of factorization is called middle term factorization ये हमने last webisode में uh, देखी है and we have gone through the proof now चलिए दोस्तों now using this technique we will go and apply this um, and पता लगाते हैं how we can factorize our polynomials so, अगर x square plus 5x plus c है दोस्तों, so in this case, जो a है, that is 1 here, right? The coefficient of x square है जो, that term is 1. So, 1 times 6. So, हमारी जो ac है, that is, is equal to 1 times 6, which is equal to 6. अभी हम, we want to break 6 down into two such factors, जिसे add करने से we get 5x. Now, so if you want to find out factors of 6, you can 1 times 6 or you can write this as 2 times 3, right? So, these are the, these are the 4 factors of 6. 1 times 6, or 2 times 3. So, if you notice, if you want to do 2 and 3, right? So, if you write 2 and here you write 3, if you add, then if you add, you will get actually 5. Right? So, if you have 1 lete ho and 6, lete ho, then you will get 7. But, if you take 2 and then 3, if you add, you get 5, which is your middle term. So, now what do we do? We write x square plus, now middle term, hai dosto, we want to break it into 2 and 3. So, we, want, we will call it 2x plus 3x plus 6. Then what we do, dosto, is we take the first two terms and here we find out the common terms. So, in the no term, x is the common. We write x. So, if x is common, then here x plus this term, if you take x, lete ho, you will have two remainder over here. Similarly, dosto, in the no terms, mein, we will take the common term. So, here you have x, but here you have 6. So, 3x and 6, you will take 3 common. So, you will get x plus 3 times 2 is 6. So, ye ban jati hai dosto. Now, in dono terms mein, you will take the common. 
clearly x plus 2 and x plus 2 are the common terms. So, आप इसे लिखते हो x plus 2 times to get the first term you have to write x to get the second term you write 3. So, हमने देखा दोस्तों कि कैसे करके polynomial x square plus 5x plus 6 actually हमने इस polynomial को we, could fact, we have factorized this into x plus 2 times x plus 3 using our middle term factorization. चलिए दोस्तों let us take the second example. So, हमारे second example में we have a is 1, c is 15. So, हमारी ac है 15. Now, we want to write the various factors. So, we can write it as 1 times 15. We can write this as 3 times 5. Right? So, 1 15 is 15 and 3 5 is 15. So, अभी हमें देखनी है कि कौन सी दो term when we add, we will get the middle term. So, आप अगर 1 and 15 को add करते हो, you will get 16. Is 8 is equal to 16? No. How about 3 and 5? अगर आप 3 and 5 को add करते हो, what do you get? You get 8, which is exactly what is our middle term. So, अभी हम क्या करते हैं? So, we know exactly how to split the middle term. So, we write x square plus, अभी 8x को we write 3x plus 5x plus 15. Now we want to take the पहली दो term, वहां से we want to find out what is, what is common. So, यहां पे x is the common uh, part. So, the first term के लिए, if we take x common, then we have to write x, so that x, x is x square, plus x times 3 is 3x. Plus, अभी इन दोनों terms में से we will take the common term. So, यहां पे you will get 5 is your common term, x plus 5 threes are 15. उसके बाद दोस्तों हम आ, लेते हैं इन दोनों टर्म्स को इन में से देखते हैं व्हाट इस कॉमन क्लियरली एक्स प्लस थ्री आपकी कॉमन टर्म है सो वी राइट एक्स प्लस थ्री टाइम्स टू गेट द फर्स्ट टर्म वी राइट एक्स प्लस फाइव सो दोस्तों हमने देखा कैसे करके एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन को वी कैन एक्चुअली ब्रेक इट डाउन इनटू टू फैक्टर्स एक्स प्लस थ्री एंड एक्स टाइम्स एक्स प्लस थ्री टाइम्स एक्स प्लस फाइव यूजिंग मिडिल टर्म फैक्टराइजेशन यहाँ पे दोस्तों बिफोर वी गो ऑन टू आर अदर एग्जांपल्स एक क्विक पॉइंट है दोस्तों वंस आप पता लगा लेते हो कि कौन सी दो फैक्टर्स हैं इन दिस केस दिस आप इसे किस ऑर्डर में लिखते हो यहाँ पे दैट इज नॉट सो इम्पोर्टेंट मान लीजिए फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग इट लाइक दिस राइट अगर हम इसे लिखते एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री एक्स के जगह पहले अगर हम फाइव एक्स लिखते एंड उसके बाद हम थ्री एक्स लिखते तो हमारी आंसर विल वुड इट हैव चेंज वो अलग हो जाती क्या आइए पता लगाते हैं सो इन दिस केस हम पहले इन दोनों टर्म्स में से वी विल टेक द कॉमन टर्म आउट सो यहाँ पे x इज योर कॉमन टर्म सो x प्लस फाइव बिकॉज एक्स फाइव इज अ फाइव एक्स प्लस इन दोनों टर्म्स में से थ्री इज योर कॉमन टर्म x प्लस थ्री फाइव इज़ अ फिफ्टीन सो अभी आप देखोगे कि इन दोनों टर्म्स में से सो द कॉमन टर्म इज x प्लस फाइव so to get the first term we multiply by x to get the second term we multiply by 3 so so aapne dekha ki agar aap if you would have written um, 5x first and 3x uske baad so you would have got the same factors right abhi maan lijiye agar aapko uh, aapse kaha jata hai um, let us just write it here maan lijiye um, 2 times 3 ya fir 3 times 2 is there any difference between the two? You are right, absolutely not. There is no difference. Right, dosto? Because both are 6. So, if you ask that you have 6 ke factors, you uh, can 2 times 3 likh sakte ho, aap ise 3 times 2. Likh sakte ho. So, it really do, it doesn't matter. Aap kis order mein you write these uh, numbers. But aap, for yourself, aap, you want to be consistent. So, you write the smaller number and uske baad aap, you write the, the larger number. Yeah, fair, if you want, you always write the negative number first and then the positive number. So, Jobi, dosto, whatever you feel comfortable, um, aap, uh, you stick to that particular method of writing it. So, normally, uh, most of us, we actually take the smaller number first and then we write the larger number. Now, chali, dosto, now let's take some more examples. So, this time, 
we have been given 2x square plus 7x plus 6. So, यहाँ पे दोस्तों हमारी जो a है, that is actually equal to 2. So, coefficient of x square is not 1, but it is 2. And हमारी जो c है, that is 6. तो इसका मतलब हुआ ac will be 2 times 6, which is 12. So, ac is 12. So, अभी दोस्तों आइए चलिए, let us see the factors of 12. So, clearly, 1 12 is 12. उसके बाद we can write it as 2 6 is 12. 2 6 is 12. उसके बाद we can write 3 4 is 12. Right? And, and that is all. So, these are the different ways we can write 12. Now, I take the, if we do these two terms, so 1 and 12, 1 plus 12 will be 13. Right? But, हमें, uh, हमें, uh, we have to bring it to 7. Uh, how about these two? 2 plus 6. अगर हम ये दोनों फैक्टर्स लेते हैं, तो आप 2 plus 6 करने से, you will get 8. But you have 7x. So, जो last factor है दोस्तों, if you look at it, 3 plus 4 is actually indeed 7. So, these are the uh, two factors uh, in which we are going to break the middle term. So, हम इसे लिखते हैं दोस्तों, this time. 2x square plus 7x को, we will write 3x plus 4x plus 6. अभी इन दोनों terms में से दोस्तो, we will take the common one. So, x is the only common term. So, to get the first term, you write 2x, right? Because x multiplied by 2x is 2x square. And then, यहाँ पे, we write 3. Because 3 times x is 3x. अभी इन दोनों में से, we try to get the common term. So, common term is 2. Right? So, 2 times 2x is 4x plus 2 3s are 6. Then, हम इन दोनों terms में से common term ढूंते हैं. So, clearly, uh, x common factors ढूंते हैं. So, clearly, 2x plus 3 is common. So, आप 2x plus 3 लिखते हो. And then, to get the first term, we write x plus get the second term, we write 2. So, so this, these are the two factors of our polynomial 2x square plus 7x plus 6. Now, chale, let us take a look at this example. So, yahan pe we have a is equal to 5 and c is equal to 20. So, then this means hamari jo ac hai that is equal to 5 times 20 which is 100. Now, chale, dosa, let us find out the factors of 100. Abhi. So, 100 ko hum lik sakte hai clearly. 1 times 10. 2 times 50. Right? Uske baad, we can write it as 4 times 25. 5 times 20. Right? So, these are, these are the factors for 100. चलिए आइए देखते हैं ना विच इज़ द कॉम्बिनेशन जिसे हमें लेनी है फॉर द मिडिल टर्म फैक्टराइजेशन। सो आप नोटिस करोगे दोस्तों योर मिडिल टर्म इज़ 52। सो आप इफ यू लुक एट दिस कॉम्बिनेशंस आप इमीडिएटली नोटिस करोगे दिस इज़ द वन दैट यू नीड। राइट? बिकॉज़ 2 टाइम्स 50 इज़ 52। सो चलिए वी विल प्लग दिस इन। सो अभी व्हाट वी विल डू इज़ हम यहाँ पे से लिखते हैं 5x स्क्वायर प्लस 2x प्लस 50x प्लस 20 सो so, इन दोनों में से कॉमन लेने से x इस डी कॉमन टर्म सो यू गेट 5x प्लस 2 एंड अगर आप इन में से कॉमन टर्म ढूंढते हो दोस्तों सो so 10 विल बी योर कॉमन टर्म सो दैट विल बी 10 टाइम्स 5 इस 50 सो so 5x प्लस 2 then in donor terms mein se aap common lene se clearly 5x plus 2 is your common term and then to get the first term you multiply by, by x to get the second term aap ise multiply karte ho 10 ke sa so dosa humne dekha ki agar aapki polynomial hai 5x square plus 52x plus 20 then the, the two factors are 5x plus 2 times x plus 10 so dosa hum aasha karte hai you are following us along chali we will take some more examples